PGA Show offered so much this year. Let's talk more about new clubs and tech for your game from the leading brands in golf. Welcome to our Golfer Approved segment, and I am joined by Adam Sheldon. Adam is a industry expert. He's got over 50 patents, worked for multiple companies, ran a few top level golf companies. So I invited Adam to talk to us about some of the technology and obviously clubs, and what are the trends that you saw from the major manufacturers in the club sector? Well, you know, Mike, uh, walk in the show, there's a lot of new brands out there. Some of the things that really kind of stand out to me is some of the wearable technologies that are in the marketplace today. I, I spent some time in the Garmin booth. Their product is, uh, is phenomenal. I mean, some of the watches in there, the amount of technology that's in there, not only for playing golf, but actually for getting back out, leisure, lifestyle, whatever, whatever you're doing. I mean, this watch can tell you pretty much anything about your life. So <laughs> very, very cool there. You know, there's a lot of talk about um, artificial intelligence in the show. Okay. Um, and you know, what, one, of the, one of the brands, you know, Callaway, uh, have done a lot of, lot of uh, technology in, in the design of the driver head uh, predominantly, uh, multi, multi-layer materials and, and multi-pieces to, to make the optimum driver. Right. Um, the, the, the brand that really stood out to me was, was Cobra Golf. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, the Dark Speed series there. I actually yeah. ran into a, uh, one of the designers there and he talked me through some of the strategy behind the product. Uh -huh. And it was pretty cool because what they've done, they, they've taken sort of the, the range of golfer, if you like, and broken it into sort of three categories. Okay. Uh, so they have three drivers for three different types of golfers. Right. The product is, it's in so many pieces, the, the amount of technology in it is, is, allows them to move the weight around the head in the most, uh, us, best positions for these different types of golfers. What other areas of the show did you enjoy? What did you see out there uh, outside of just clubs? Because I know that you uh, got around some other areas of the show. Yeah, there was a, there was a few other brands that kind of stood out to me. Uh, one of them, Blue Tees Golf. Their speakers um, and just the, I'm, I'm a big visual guy and uh, I like the look of products and look into the design of things. And uh, you know, just the aesthetics and the design, the touch when you touch and feel and then the technology obviously to back it up. And then, uh, you know, I went by the uh, the painter booth, which oh, uh, be, yeah. being a British guy, uh, you know, I think uh, the, the guy who, who started that company was an English cricketer. Um, and uh, the painter shoe, when I looked at it, the, again, the amount of technology in the product um, and the multi-materials they're using. And one of the key things what they've done is they have a, a sort of a membrane in the center of the shoe, okay. which is carbon fiber, a multi-axis kind of carbon fiber layup which for the golf shoe, it actually helps it stay pretty flat, right? Okay. So really cool stuff from Painter Golf this year. You know, one of the brands that we love and is just amazing with technology, speaking of AI and, and design, is uh, our friends at Bat Caddy. Yeah, well, well, Bat Caddy, everyone's talking about artificial intelligence. Bat Caddy is talking about real intelligence. Okay. And that's their latest Evo series. And the Evo series, I mean, you've got to, you've got to go see it. It is a fold flat design. The frame is under 12 pounds. Oh my goodness. It has follow me technology. Wow. You can get it in a remote control. It is the slickest caddy on the floor today. Thank you so much for your time, pal. It was a pleasure. I really yeah. appreciate it. And uh, wow, we've been doing this a minute, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, now I'm joined by Claire Johnson, who is actually known better to a lot of people online as at Caddy Issues. What's, yeah. what's, what's your influence there to uh, have at Caddy Issues? So when I first started, I was mainly influenced by Paige Spernak and oh, yeah. Grace Charis. Great so, shout out to an awesome lady. Yes, I've modeled my pages after them, but now I'm finding my own personality, obviously. Um, and still you have growing. a lot of it, so that's not hard to do. I have a lot of personality. Um, <laughs> if you want to be entertained, then you're in the right place. So <laughs> I that's never have awesome. a dull round. There's never a boring golf round. What got you into golf and why? Is this your first show or you've been here before? This is my very first show. I didn't know this existed. <laughs> this is a holy mecca for golfers. I've only been in the content industry in golf for a little bit over a year, about two years. So, and you have a half a million followers. That's tremendous. Yes, I kind of dove in head first and I, I guess so. worked really hard. And now here we are. Now I'm at my very first PGA show meeting everybody. It's so fun because I know a lot of these people from online uh -huh. and now I'm meeting them in person for the first time. 
give me a breath of, from demo day. We met, we got a chance to have a lot of fun out there. You, you, met, you met Kyle uh, at the Cobra booth. Just what, what stood out for you? Who, who did you see and just all the fun? Oh man, it was just awesome. It's like we demoed out a bunch of new clubs. And as a female, I actually don't enjoy going into the PGA store or anything like that to demo clubs. Um, I just think it's an awkward experience, okay. like as a girl. So it was really fun to be comfortable demoing new clubs that I probably would have never tried on my own. I probably would have never picked them up ever. And it was fun to have everybody help me out. And ladies, that now Claire can tell you that the industry is very welcoming to all ladies, and that's the biggest sector. I mean, we've mentioned the clothing area and all the boom in ladies' fashion. What do you think? Now you're gonna go into a PJ Superstore and get, get set up? Now I'm, I'm gonna walk in there with confidence because I know what I wanna pick, I know what I want. Um, and you know somebody's gonna help you, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's the great thing about golf and about our industry. Anything stand out for you? Any products that you really liked? Um, I, so I have Callaway Clubs right now. I'm not sponsored or anything by them. I bought them all on my own and I tried the new AI smoke. That one was my favorite one out of the whole day. And I also, I loved the party vibes over at the Cobra tent. <laughs> Cobra that can was, bring it. That was my favorite tent of all of them. So keep it up. There was I'm, a a, I'm always kicking P Pumas. So Cobra Pumas, Pumas my favorite brand. I, I've, <laughs> I've usually got, I've got like 15 pairs. So oh my gosh, <laughs> that's yeah. a good brand. That's a good brand. Yeah. Way to go. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I, I appreciate your time and you, you brought a lot of spice and uh, energy and boy, she can hit the driver, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> thank time. you. I appreciate. <laughs> thank you for having me on. Awesome. <laughs>